My name is Colleen Eve and I am the daughter of Sergeant Margaret Eve. She was an OPP officer and was killed in the line of duty in June of 2000. She was doing a roadside stop with two of her colleagues and was hit when a tractor trailer failed to move over. She was sent to hospital in London and she died three days later. It's hard to put into words what that has done to our family. She was truly the rock and what held us together. My whole family, my extended family, her brothers, her sisters, and we miss her a lot. I am 23 years old now and I'm still affected by this collision every single day. It crosses my mind and when I see an ambulance or a police cruiser on the highways, I can't help but think about my family and my story and everything that it's done to us. I can't really express how difficult that is to have no, no memory of my own mother. I can't remember, you know, the things she used to say to me or the songs she used to sing. I never got the lessons that she was going to teach me in life. People always tell me that I have her laugh and that I have her mannerisms or something like that and it sucks that I can't remember it. It sucks that I don't know what they're talking about when they say I cross my legs the same way she does. But knowing that I do is really special and it's something that I I'm so grateful for that I have these little things to remember her and this is my way of of remembering her. This is my own special way of keeping that flame alive and it's really really important to me that she's remembered and that people come together and remember her as well. She has her name here on the wall in Toronto and that truly is just something that keeps her memory alive. It lets me and my family know that she was really, really important, not only to us, but to the whole Ontario Provincial Police Association. It's so important to me that her memory lives on in the best way possible and that she's continued to be remembered. I think it's important that people come to this memorial, other police officers that are still working in the line of duty, to remind them that nothing is guaranteed and that they are doing a very important job that not a lot of people would do. There has to be some good that, has, that comes from this. I have to believe that. My family has to believe that. That's what keeps me going and this is what I know that she would want. She would want to be remembered. She would want to influence people and if she could know the influence that she has had, she would be honored and she would be so honored that everybody is coming together to remember not only her but her fellow officers that have fallen as well.